Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. In this section of the tutorials, we are going and make an output file. We are going to have an output dictionary file such as API we are going to get an output as an API out of our data. Uh, this can be a URL that others can use and we can do anything with this URL. First we work and then give further explanations. We go to the main app view first. Okay we need to import the library we say from django dot http import json response okay we go down and I make a new function called show on the line data okay alright now I want to print the simple data a very simple one I say data equals dictionary okay for instance status one for instance now we want to send this we say return JSON response and data now we said what should happen we said data which is a dictionary be sent to the output now we are going to check this and complete this little by little I go to the URL and make a URL for it okay I call it show on the line data and connect to show underline data view with the name show underline data and now we go to the browser and test our site slash show slash data and as you see my output is being shown the dictionary that I made and we can add some values such as a status two equals five. We refresh the page and as you see it has been added. That is we can produce a dictionary in the output so that other sites such as the same one and the request we sent to the URL got the output now we can have such a thing for instance for the prices of that site web anyone who connects uh, they would get a dictionary like this as JSON and will be able to use it so this is one of the ways of giving API later on we are going to check in the view and see the one who is sending the request what is his API does he have a valid IP and so many other things that we can work on that is we do not allow for anyone to connect and see our page and many more options we can even receive an input such as the method that we receive here our request can be of the post type and receive a series of values from the sender and process and send him the response